Hi everybody, I'm here to show you the Magic Heat Reclaimer. Now this is a heat exchanger which is installed into your flue pipe of a wood, coal or oil stove and it is efficient at extracting the heat from your flue gas which would normally just be you know escaping right up the top of your chimney. So uh, this unit installs very easily and it might be a little hard to see here but there are 10 horizontal pipes that go through the unit and as the gas travels up through the box these pipes get very very hot and in back of the unit right here uh, there is a fan which will then force your room air through these pipes and out out the front and by the time it reaches the front of the unit that air is very hot hot to the point where sometimes you can barely hold your hand in front of these holes um, I actually held a, a portable thermometer up to it after a few minutes of having a fire going and it instantly redlined at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very hot air that comes out here and uh, it really helps to circulate that hot air throughout your whole house. So if you have uh, far away rooms like our living room was, is down at the end there, um, you know, we'd never see the radiant heat from our wood stove, would never provide any heat for us in the living room. So. Uh, with this unit and the air circulation, it really helps get that hot air throughout the entire house. Uh, not to mention that it heats the house at least three times faster than uh, than just having the wood stove on its own. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing machine. Uh, I think it is the best value and bang for my buck I have ever spent on you know on a piece of equipment. Except maybe my espresso machine, but uh, okay. So a few things you need to know here: um, the machine is thermostatically controlled, uh, so you can see the cord. There's a cord here in the back. I have it plugged in up at the ceiling, and that controls the electric fan, which is uh, just standard 150 volt. Um, the cord is six feet long and it has a three prong plug. And the beauty about this fan is that it turns on automatically at 150 degrees Fahrenheit and it turns off again at 110. So there's really nothing you have to do, you know, just light your fire and uh, the Magic Heat, Rec Heat Reclaimer will do the rest for you. Um, so you've probably noticed this knob thing sticking out the front here. This is actually a soot scraper and um, it is attached to a steel plate uh, which basically covers all of these uh, heat exchanger tubes and as you move it back and forward it will just uh, it will clean the creosote and soot off of those pipes uh, so that basically should be used you know on a daily basis just to keep those pipes clean and also when you have when you have a good strong fire going um, this knob should be left out at least five six inches um, because um, the knob at the end here is made out of hard plastic so that could actually get quite soft um, oh and another thing I should mention is that uh, if you've seen pictures of these before um, this plate in here uh, is a stainless steel and I actually just uh, uh, had some wood stove finishing uh, paint left over so I just spray painted that black as well just so it would match with everything else okay so another very important thing is this unit has um, a crimp either on the bottom or the top um, where it will insert to your existing pipe so you can see right here this border here is the the top of the unit and you have the same on the bottom um, but you can get models that have the crimp on the top or the bottom so um, ideally you want a, a unit that has the crimp on the bottom 
so that it fits into your existing uh, flue pipe and anything that comes down your pipe uh, let's say you know ash creosote or in my case I even had a small water leak at one point um, everything will stay inside the pipe even when it reaches a joint so if you had um, the crimp on the top if you had your crimp right here and a pipe uh, was going over it here um, if you had water dripping dripping down the inside of the flue pipe it would actually make it to the outside and then start dripping outside of your pipe so if you can get the crimp on the bottom um, that's the ideal installation and uh, you know manufacturer recommendations as well um, I'm gonna return here in a bit and uh, have this thing fired up and ready to go so you can see it in action okay so I'm back uh, with the second part of this review I just lit the fire have a look in there I just lit that about two minutes ago um, the temperature is starting to creep upwards here so once that hits 150 we'll hear the fan come on which should be just any minute um, I'm sure I'm leaving a lot of things out here in this review so uh, head over to my website magicheatreclaimer.com and you'll find all kinds of useful information uh, reviews you know the owner's manual all kinds of advice um, and how this thing really works in in more detail um, so yes one thing I do want to mention as well is uh, uh, some people are worried about this voiding your home insurance and you know just check with your specific agent um, they'll need to get approval for this um, it took me about a month to get approval for mine I live here in Nova Scotia and Canada so I think it was one of the first around to get these um, they weren't even available to buy in stores anywhere so um, it is ULC approved which I'm sure uh, you know an insurance company looks favorably upon so you know you can email me with any questions and I can send help send you some documents um, about my approval from my insurance company so who knows maybe I kinda set a precedent alright oh here we go so the unit is now on and uh, you know as you can see that's not not that loud at all so um, you know I, I don't even notice notice the noise anymore to tell you the truth after a few years of using this so and uh, you know it's a great thing to hear because you know the the heat is coming anyway so and that is already nice and warm as soon as that turns on so I, f I lit my fire uh, about four minutes ago and I'll just check the uh, check the temperature of the house right now um, where are we here? Uh, we're at 18. Yeah, 18. So I'm gonna hold this thermometer up up in front of those pipes just so you can see. Sorry for all the rocking back and forth here. I'm filming this on my phone, so okay. So let's see what what's coming out here already. Um, just if I hold this, I'm just holding this in front of the holes here, and you can see that this just is climbing already, and it just keeps going and going. And just remember, this is you know about five minutes ago that we lit the fire. So as you can see here, it, uh, it's about to max out in red line this thermometer pretty quickly here. So so we have a temperature of over, you know, 110 Fahrenheit uh, come up, blow out of this 
Magic Heat Reclaimer within five minutes. Now, what I have done is, I might have mentioned this in my first part, but uh, I installed a dimmer switch to my electrical plug there where the fan is plugged in so I can actually control the speed of the fan. Uh, now, like I said, the noise doesn't really bother me, but if this was in a smaller living room uh, or your TV room and you know, you're about to watch a movie, uh, I probably wouldn't want this fan on uh, or want it on with as, as much power. So I had our uh, local electrician install the appropriate dimmer switch so I can actually shut the fan down. So let me just do that here. Just walk over to my switch. So now that's about half power and it's still bringing out a lot of air and you know that cuts cuts down on the noise drastically. Um, now one thing you have to keep in mind here is this unit should not be run uh, in a power outage. If the fan does, is not running you should not have a fire in your stove because it can damage the electrical components. But um, I've done this before, it took me about 10 minutes to remove to remove the back panel here. Uh, there's just, you know, six or eight screws here. Uh, the fan comes out easily with all the electrical components as well. And uh, then you can just use your, use your stove again without uh, worrying about damaging the, the unit. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And buy one of these because it is the, you know, the best bang for your buck for a heat piece of heating equipment you will ever ever buy so um, it's well worth the money and I will buy another one of these as soon as I need to but you know like I said this I think this thing will last me many many years so uh, I am extremely happy with this unit and I know you will be too